This educational gambling video is brought to you by the American Casino Guide, the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons, including offers for free rooms, free food, free shows, and even free gambling money. If you want to know more about the book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. In this video, American Casino Guide author Steve Borey interviews gambling expert Michael Shackelford, who is also known as the Wizard of Odds. Mike is one of the most well-recognized names in the world of casino gambling, and he is a former adjunct professor of casino math at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Mike is also the author of the book Gambling 102, plus he has a website at wizardofodds.com, where you can find a detailed analysis of the casino's mathematical advantage on all of the major games, plus tips on the best strategies for winning at each of those games. Now here's Michael Shackelford. What is your background? My background is in uh, math and computer science. I have a degree in math and economics, and along the way studied um, a lot of computer programming languages. Do you work for gaming companies? I, most of my time is spent uh, on my website, and I do some slot machine design or, uh, other, or uh, other game analysis uh, as a uh, sideline. How did you get the name Wizard of Odds? Uh, one day I was reading the paper, and I was reading an article about a Chicago mobster who got um, indicted and sent to prison, and it mentioned that his moniker was the Wizard of Odds. So. I kind of figured that as long as he was going to prison, he didn't need it anymore. And um, I already had a gambling site at this time, but it was called um, Mike's Gambling Page. And I thought, you know, Wizard of Odds sounds a lot better. So I called it that. And, um, um, you know, that's how I've been referred to for uh, ever since. Do you actually gamble yourself? Oh, yes. I love gambling. I, it's in my blood. I've been gambling as long as I can remember. Um, uh, you know, even as a child, just on, uh, you know, say running a race or a basketball game, um, whatever I could think of. What games do you play? What's my favorite game to play? Probably the thing that I spend the most time on is sports betting. Um, however, I really uh, enjoy Pie Gow Tiles. It's played with 32 what look like dominoes, and the rules are very complicated, uh, but I find it a very uh, intriguing game. And it's um, also it's a nice, slow, low volatility game. What do you think is the dumbest thing players do in a casino? The dumbest thing a player can do in the casino is to play the slot machines. Uh, it's a very expensive form of gambling. The, the house edge is comparatively high. They play at a very high rate of speed. And, and as I said in my last interview, um, my advice to video poker players was, I mean, my advice for slot players was to switch to video poker. Um, I absolutely stand by that. Um, slots are a horrible bet. And um, so that's, that's my one single worst mistake that players make. When you are analyzing the casino edge on games, is there one game that stands out in your memory as being the highest of all time? The worst bet I've ever seen in a casino is, the, is a casino game over at Harris Las Vegas um, with a house advantage of 96 percent. That's a four percent return on your money. That's the worst I've ever seen. Um, there is a worse form of gambling. Is There is a carnival game called, um, oh, what's the name of that? It, it's like a football game that involves um, balls in a, in a field and, you, and they pour um, balls into this grid and, and, they, and they add up the points and according to how many points you get, it advances a player down the field. And as soon as he scores a touchdown, you get a, um, you know, a nice camera or something like that. But they cheat. You know, they, they cheat in your favor at the beginning. And then when you get close to the touchdown line, that's when they quit cheating anymore. And it's vir virtually impossible to advance if the game is played fairly. And um, you know, I, I calculated that the odds, if that were played without cheating in the player's favor, that the house advantage would be like 99.999999 with like a million nines percent. For someone who goes to a casino to only play slot machines, what is the best advice you can give them? My, my advice is, first of all, play in moderation. Um, 
secondly, play a simple game. Um, you know, don't play one with you know a gigantic monitor that's based on a hot TV show or movie. Play one of the you know simpler games like Kitty Glitter or A Hundred Lions, and um, it's better to play at a high denomination but with fewer lines than a low denomination with lots of lines in general. Um, and it, it also matters what casino you play at. And as, as a rule of thumb, the nicer the casino, the tighter the slots. For someone who goes to a casino to only play blackjack, what is the best advice you can give them? Um, first of all, I would congratulate them for picking a good game. And um, my advice would be to try to memorize the basic strategy. Um, that's how to play every situation um, according to your hand and the dealer's up card. And if, if, that's, if it's too much to ask you to memorize that, I have something on my website called the Simplified Strategy that's just several rules that will get you very close to the basic strategy um, house advantage. And um, so learn that and seek out the good rules. And my website, Wizard of Vegas, indicates the rules for every single casino in Las Vegas. For someone who goes to a casino to only play video poker, what is the best advice you can give them? Again, good choice of games. And, and it's, it's very similar to blackjack. It's, a, it's two steps. One, find the good game. And two, play it right. And um, there's, there's websites that like vpfree2.com that list what is the best game in every single casino in America. And, uh, and then once you, you know, find the game you like, hopefully a good game, and where to play it, then you have to play it right. And, and video poker strategy can, can be complicated, but you know, it's not that bad. There's a lot of sources available where you can buy simplified strategies and, um, um, you know, and, and then just be careful and, and play the game right. And absolutely do not sit down at video poker and just fly by the seat of your pants because the strategies are very non-intuitive. And, and um, it's, it's very important that you do your homework. How does multiplay video poker affect your bankroll? Uh, first of all, in general, the multiplay games often have worse pay tables than the single line games, but not always. Um, given the same pay table, say 9-6 jacks, uh, it, uh, it, and let's say that every time you make a bet, let's say that you're comfortable betting $100 you would be much better off playing 20 line $1 than one line $20. Because it multiplay divides your bet amongst lots of different hands, lowering the volatility. However, if you're a $1 player, um, you're going to be better off betting one hand at a time on a one play game than 100 on a one play game. So personally, I like the multiplay games. Um, I, I think that um, um, th that the way I manage my bankroll it, it lowers my volatility, and it, it you know and if I have a certain goal like to accomplish a certain amount of action, it lets you achieve that faster. For someone who knows nothing about gambling, what is your best advice? I think that a good first game to learn would be craps. Um, you can. You know, and all you need to know is to uh, make a line bet, either the pass or the don't pass, and back it up with the odds. You'll have a very low house advantage, and it's very simple. Is it true downtown casinos have lower minimum bets on crap tables than other Las Vegas casinos? Yes, and, and that's true with lots of games. And, um, yeah, and you will find lower limits on every game downtown, and, and that, it's a good place to learn at um, if, if, you know, if you're on a limited bankroll for whatever reason. Um, and if you're intimidated to play the first time, uh, play early in the morning when you can probably get a table to yourself and uh, get more of the dealer's uh, attention to explain the rules to you and you won't embarrass yourself if you, know, if, if you do anything wrong. How can people learn more about you and your work? Uh, my website is the best place, wizardofodds.com, and thank you for having me. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.